Good morning. My name is Bishop Bob McElroy, and for the past four and a half years, I've had the joy and privilege of being the Bishop of San Diego. About a year ago, we started planning for this synod for young adults in the diocese. And we did so because we were trying to build on what Pope Francis had begun by having a synod in Rome that focused all young people from all over the world and bishops coming together to look at the questions of how young adults can become more and more active and alive in the church and how the church can be ever more responsive to the needs of young adults. That document that came out of the Synod in Rome was called Christ Lives, to indicate that Christ is truly living in the hearts and souls of our young adult men and women, and that we need to bring that life more to the center of the church and support it in every way that we can. That's what this synod is all about. And I am grateful to you for having given your time to bring us to this moment. Now, I had fully expected to be with you here for this working session this weekend to uh, go over the major themes of the synod and help crystallize them and bring them to greater fruition. But uh, Pope Francis actually has appointed me as a delegate to a synod which is now going on in Rome on the life of the church in the Amazon and in the wider world. And it really is the same process that's going on here in San Diego because the synod in Rome for the Amazon looks to the question of how do we renew the face of the church to make evangelization, to make Christ's presence, to make the sacramental life of the church, to make the church's voice and justice more effective in the Amazon region of the world. So too, those are our objectives with the Synod here in San Diego. How do we make formation of young adults more effective, help to answer their questions, help to bring them closer to Christ, help to bring the light of the gospel, not only to them, but through them, through you, into the greater life of the church and society. I've attended several of the working sessions at the deaneries, and I have to say there was a lot of energy and there was a commonality of issues that emerged in those sessions. And I know you're gonna be working on those themes today and tomorrow to bring them to the next step, the next level, so that we can crystallize them once more and then finalize them on November 9th when we'll be meeting at the Mission, at Mission San Diego, where we're going to spend a half day in finalizing these issues and then presenting a working document to the church in San Diego and Imperial counties, and particularly to young adults in the church that will have been rooted in their needs, in their discussions. And that's what you are here for. That's what you are participating in. And that is why your voices, the voices of young adults, are the predominant voices in this room today and will be throughout this process because it is no good for us or for me as the bishop or even for the priests to come together and say, here's what we think is necessary for young adults. If we are truly gonna be effective in reaching out to young adults and helping empower young adults in the life of our church, making them feel more fully alive in the sacramental life of the church, in the catechetical life of the church, in the outreach to the poor and the needy and the marginalized, then those voices, your voices must predominate. And I believe that that's what will happen in these two days. So I am praying for you in these days. I ask God's blessing upon you. I thank you for giving of your time to this effort because we are doing something wonderful by trying to make the dream of Christ in the hearts of our young adult communities, more alive, more real, more vivid, more powerful. And I look forward to seeing you at the final session on November 9th, 
where we'll all come together, not only with you who are the core representatives here in these two days, but also with the deanery representatives who have uh, come three from every parish originally, we'll all be together to finalize our plan and to celebrate that plan and thank God for having made us come ever closer to what he wants us to be as a church and a church which places young adults at its very center. <laughs>